Welcome to the Brew For You Show, sponsored by the Beer Loons. Check out BeerLoons.com today for beer reviews, brewing tips, and beer products. And now, here is your host, Mike Campbell. Hello everyone, I am your host, Mike Campbell. Glad you can join us today. And welcome to Brew For You. We do have some big changes uh, in store for you today. We're going to be changing the format of this show uh, to really just beer reviews. And the occasional uh, special edition brewer interview as well. So we have a lot going on. Each episode will be no longer than five minutes, so you can have a quick beer review without having to wait. As usual, all of the beer reviews will be posted on our website at beerloons.com. We're also starting a new show today called Brewing Today, and Brewing Today will replace the Brew For You post show and will be a more in-depth look at brewing techniques, styles, and history. So why are we doing all of this? Well, it's pretty simple. We're going to be start. Uh, we're going to start creating these shows for video as well. We are going to test a few things on the podcast for right now as we get everything figured out. But over the next few months, we will be getting together a brand new beer website. We'll be jumping all over YouTube and Ustream. We're going to have much more interaction with you, our audience, through poll questions, Twitter, Facebook, and Google Plus. Whether you're a craft beer lover or home brewer, you'll find a new beer ut- utopia in the new future, if I could actually speak. We did see a huge need for one expert place for beer lovers to come together. It all starts with the podcast and the TV show, but uh, there'll be much more. We want to be the undisputed best for everything beer, and we will make that happen. Beer's our passion. And we want you to join us on this journey. We absolutely need your feedback right now. Please get in touch with us by emailing us at brewforyou at beerloons.com or call our beer line at 512-827-0505, extension 5957. Of course, you can also check us out on Facebook and Twitter as well. Just look us up by uh, Beer Loons. We need to hear from you on what you think, what you're looking for, and how we can make things better. Now is your chance to be heard in the craft beer world. The reason why we're kind of separating the episodes a little bit more uh, between Brew For You and the Brew For You post show and creating kind of a whole new show off of it is because not everyone who's into craft beer is also into home brewing. And so we decided that... We wanted these quick little five-minute reviews, and the upcoming episodes will be five minutes or less. But So that way you can get a quick review, see what we're thinking, see what uh, thoughts we had, uh, and kind of go on with your day and move on. The uh, Brewing Today show is going to be a show that gets more in-depth on home brewing topics and will be no more than 10 minutes an episode. So all this uh, allows us to have short podcasts that you can download and put on your phone or iPod or whatever you've got, but also we can introduce video and have fun little uh, pieces as well on Ustream and YouTube as well. We're really going to focus on the social networking and becoming the best brew source or beer source out there. So we need your help for that. To celebrate the new change, our first beer to review is Stone Brewing Company Sublimely Self-Righteous Ale. We love Stone beers around here, and we felt it was only feeling that they lead us into the next frontier. Here's a little bit of info about the beer. Uh, if you're not familiar, Stone Brewing Company is from Escondido, California. This beer is an American black ale with its first release date in January of 2009. It is 8.7% alcohol by volume with 90 IUs. Uh, They use hops that are Chinook, Simcoe, and Amarillo. And this is off of their website, considered a work of art by the brewers at Stone Brewing Company, hence the name. You do want to serve this beer ideally between 40 and 45 degrees Fahrenheit. 
and the best glass to use is either a pint, mug, or oversized wine glass. So we're going to go ahead and review this real quick with you. First and foremost, the beer pours into the glass with black color. That's why it's a black uh, ale. It has a brown head that is very thick with fine bubble and is slow fading. You also get a little bit of lacing on the side of the glass, which I enjoy. In the aroma, you're hit with strong notes of citrus, some floral and piney notes as well. The hops are very dominant uh, in the aroma of this beer. You might also pick up a little hint of uh, dark chocolate as well and a bit of the uh, alcohol warmth. And like I mentioned before, you uh, will also have the uh, reviews uh, on our blog as well at beerloons.com. So if you don't catch everything, feel free to check that out and we will have the reviews uh, listed there as well. So let's go ahead and give this a try. So you're immediately hit with free, uh, flavors like grapefruit uh, in the bite from the hops. Um, I would say you kind of have a fairly medium um, sweetness on this. And as you know, uh, there's a lot that usually goes on, especially with some of these IPAs and, and black ales and things like that. These are heavily hopped and have, uh, not necessarily heavily grained, but quite a bit of grain going on a lot of times, especially on the black versions. So you kind of get the grape, grapefruit. Uh, you get some of the bite from the hops, uh, which is real citrus as well. Uh, kind of a medium sweetness going. Mm. You don't notice a whole lot of the alcohol, which is nice. Uh, the hops are kind of leading the way on, on this. Uh, in the aftertaste, you do get a kind of dryness. Uh, the beer starts to dry out. I notice a little pickup of chocolate and a little bit of kind of roasted flavors as well. Not super strong, but obviously you get a black color for a reason. Hence, um, kind of the chocolatey roasted flavors as well. So there's there's this is a bitter beer in the end. And it does stay with you. Uh, body on this to me is medium. And the balance is definitely on the hoppy side. The malt is just there enough to let you know, hey, you know, we put some in. But uh, this is definitely more on the hoppy side, much more along the lines of an American IPA, which really black ales are. They're just a darker uh, version. They're kind of an up-and-coming or newer category uh, involved. So hop-wise, I am going to give this beer... Um, I'm going to give it an 8 out of 10 because it is a very hoppy beer. Uh, that's above average in our hop list. So it, it's definitely up there. This is a very noticeable, uh, noticeable hop bill. I don't know if it's the most hoppy I've ever had. That's why I'm giving it an 8 rather than a 9 or a 10. But it's definitely up there. And really a nice beer. Um, very good American Black Ale. I can see why they call it sublimely self-righteous and why they have such a good opinion about this beer. I enjoy it as well. Nice job, Stone Brewing. Uh, we're going to give you, for our first beer, you know what, I know we've been kind of lowering our scores to make them a little bit more balanced and things like that, but I really do have to give this a 92 out of 100. Very nice beer, very well done, very enjoyable. Go pick some up if you can. Well, that's going to be it. I hope you enjoyed the new format, and don't forget to let us know what you think of the new format, and don't forget to check out our new show uh, called Brewing Today. And until next time, cheers. Cheers.